This is now year five of the study, and our tick population is basically totally kept in check. We had lost all species of brown nesting birds here in the park. All of our small little birds that are down here eating where the ticks are supposed to be. Commonly, from my teachers, every spring we incubated ducks and we don't know where to put them. Will you take them at the park? We used to traditionally hatch chicken in our classroom, Peking duck, and we decided enough of that we wanted to do something for the environment. We got quail eggs and we put them in an incubator for a couple weeks. When the quail eggs hatched, it wasn't like big cracks, it was like just tiny little cracks. I could barely even see them, they were so small. Then we put them in the playpen and everything. Then they started just making all the sounds that we can hear from the classrooms. Every day, they will still stay in the cage and just keep eating. We just all like cared for them. And we raised them until they were about three weeks, and then we brought them here. Ticks are harmful to people. We need the quails to eat the ticks. It helps eat the ticks. They eat ticks? Quail helps eat ticks in the ecosystem, which can produce Lyme disease. If all these teachers switch to just order bobwhite quail, then I can take those chicks and brood them to 10 weeks old and release them in the park. And now we're not disturbing the ecosystem. In fact, we're actually putting it back into balance. Bob White? Bob White? Bob White? If there's no Bob White quail, then the ticks will be everywhere. Bringing species back that were once here and now they're gone definitely gives us hope. Without uh, further ado, uh, if you want to follow me over to the quail cage, get your cameras ready because we're going to release them. It was kind of really amazing when a bunch flew away. Everyone was ducking, but it was really cool. You can just feel like winds like flowing against you. It was definitely uh, better than playing a Game Boy. Yeah. I felt really happy for the quail. It was a very good experience. I watched them fly into the woods and everything like that, and now they're out in the wild. We saw the quails, and they looked a little bigger. It was great to see all the quails go out into the wild. Today was fabulous. I was watching everybody's faces as they were watching the birds fly and just to see like that, that glitter in the eyes and they're like, yeah! You and I can do something good for the environment and it's fun and it's good. The perfect combination of it all. <laughs>